Hello, oh, my lovely YouTubers. Welcome to the channel of the Loquacious One. How is everyone doing? I hope everyone is fine. Happy holidays to everyone. I like to take this opportunity to invite each and every one of you all to my home to show you some affordable ways that I have my holiday events without breaking the bank. I am on a budget, a strict budget. But I still manage to enjoy all the holiday festivities and do it on a budget and without breaking the bank. Okay, I'd like to thank everybody who is tuned in today. Thank you for being curious enough to see what the Loquacious One is about. Thank you to all my loyal subscribers who have supported me in the year 2018. Thank you. It's just been awesome. Thank you to all the... YouTubers who are on this forum who open up their homes and their lives and share the experiences that enable all of us to live a better lifestyle. Okay, and what I one of the events that I do host this time of year is a cookie swap exchange as well as this year. Uh, I'm keeping it very simplistic. All I am giving out <laughs> as gifts is baked goods, okay? So, uh, without further ado, this is some of the things that I use, not all. I am just trying to give you a really brief synopsis. I think you can get the gist of how I do it. Okay, we're going to start with the centerpiece. Of course, my simplistic attempt is to use garland, leftover garland uh, that I got from Walmart. Uh, the picks, the beautiful green glittery picks. I got from Dollar Tree the drum I got from Dollar Tree the hurricane shaped flute from Dollar Tree and the white altar candle came from the Dollar Tree and that's as simple as to get and the tin of course was from the Dollar Tree they have various containers you just utilize what you have and you can come out with some what I think is pretty decent floral centerpieces Next, I just have this three-wick candle. I got this from Walmart. It's evergreen spruce. It smells nice. Very holiday-ish. I got this last year when they went on clearance. I don't pay all that money for candles. Uh, as long as they have a good throw, I don't care what the name is on it. Okay, another thing I have I thought was really cute is this little box from the Dollar Tree. It says, there's a little Kokoma Cafe. Every Thursday happy hour, 3 to 5 p.m. The Wi-Fi password is G, well, G1NG3RBR34D, which kind of spells, spells out gingerbread. It is so cute. I thought this was so awesome. May your, may your days be merry and bright. Then it has the Hot Cocoa Cafe. The flavors are peppermint, gingerbread, caramel, chocolate, cinnamon, apple spice, Holiday special, two for one, share with a friend. This is very detailed, very, very detailed. And I would say if I did it over again, but I didn't do it, I would have got enough so that I would give out gifts in these little containers. But this was, was one of the few that I found, actually, I believe. Okay, another little thing I had to decorate the table were these gingerbread tea light candle holders. I thought they were cute. I got two of those for the table. And I got these little dragonfly decorations that I will be using. I have an idea and a concept. I may or may not use them, but I got them because they were the color of the centerpiece. So, you know, I'm thinking out the box. You don't have to actually use everything uh, that's intended for Christmas or holiday. You just can go to your craft section and pick out some things that correlates with what you're theming with. Okay, I also found, and I like this time of the year, they have by Christmas House these green doilies. These are the coasters for the drinks. And by this being kids, I got the dollies. They are like the little placemats. Okay, and they have them in green. I think they had them in red and they had white and silver. Silver goes really fast and it may be in the wetting section. You have to check the wetting section for the silver but they have the green, the red and they always have the white. 
I only see the green and red during the holiday time. I'm going to have a life fair for them. They're going to just basically have uh, soups and sandwiches. So I got these little, I found these at Dollar Tree. They're little plain white plates. Um, it's a value pack, 30 of them. And that was $1. I thought they were cute and simplistic. And um, they had another plate and napkin I like. But again, this went better with, I thought at the time, the green. So I might switch this out for another plate and napkin. But the napkins I was using is the Elf Made Me Do It. I thought that was kind of cute, you know, and whimsical. And I just got some plain green cup ready to go with it. So they'll be having soup and sandwiches while they make their coffee. And, I mean, their cookies. Well, excuse me. Now for the tablecloth, I look for tablecloths. If I hadn't found one, I was going to go with just a plain green plastic. And I will still get some of those to protect surfaces. I just remembered uh, that I want to protect a surface. So I will be getting the green plastic, plain green pla plastic tablecloths. But I will be using this plaid uh, craft wrapping paper. It is big enough to cover the surfaces. So if they drop or spill something, uh, it won't matter. And it looks kind of crafty. And it looks... A little bit more luxe than just the plain green plastic but you can use that if that's all that you you know have um, there I also will be doing their I will be giving them their gifts and this year I just picked out two simple um, wrapping papers I got and this they both were from Dollar Tree this is the Harry Potter gift wrap, and it looks like this. And they had all kinds of uh, Spider-Man, Star Wars, uh, but I got what I liked. And I got this Charlie Brown. I thought the peanuts were cute. The peanuts are really awesome. I'm old-fashioned like that. So that will take care of um, that now when they're making their cookies okay I found this at the Dollar Tree let me see how I'm doing this these are anywhere sectional trays so I got them in this green color I didn't see red so, I purchased several of these. So, each child will get one of these. If I can find them in red, but I doubt it by the time this is hosted. But this will be good for keeping their cookies and their uh, chips and their sprinkles and their candies and um, their icings. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I plan on doing this. I'm just using these candies as example. Oh, uh, they could put some M&Ms in there. And I got these candies from Dollar Tree. And they got these semi-sweet chocolates. You can fill another one up with that. And whatever other candy you deem, you know, necessary. Now, uh, I also have these Betty Crocker Classic Color Writing Icings that I got from Dollar General. It's in blue green yellow and red is four in a box and they're about this size okay now you can either put these in the trays for each one of them to have their own tubes or what's more economical if you can make your colored icing which is the most economically feasible you can make your own icings and put them in these bottles that I got from Dollar Tree by Cooking Concept they're condiment bottles so you just put the red, the blue, the yellow and the green and these I put, purchased at least 8 of these I really love these bottles and that will help with that okay so 
Um, another thing I purchased to assist in making these cookies, and the most, uh, well, the most, the least expensive was uh, Walmart. I bought these by Mainstay, the wood spoon set. There for uh, this will be to mix the cookie dough. Okay, and um, you can just to show you. If you can't make or you're not good at baking, you can try um, the box mixes. One example is this, the Betty Crocker Ultimate Cookie Mix Double chunk, Chocolate Chunk. And they have tons of them. You know, I've showed them um, all along. They got all types of flavors, oatmeal, chocolate chip, um, sugar cookies, peanut butter cookies, what have you. And um, you might also want to get, and I just want to show you, the Food Coloring by Spice Supreme. And this will color your um, frosting, your icing. So when you make your icing, make sure you grab some food coloring because it's not that expensive at Dollar Tree. Now another thing we will be making will be, um, oh, Excuse me for going all the way around. Um, this from Bakersfield is pure vanilla extract. It's a tiny amount, but if this is just a like small occasion, that will suffice. And it's like a half an ounce. And the food coloring to make the icing. Or you can just buy uh, tubes. You can share like one box Per two child, child, or if you have the money, or it's just a couple of them, you can buy a box for each one of them. Okay, and don't forget Baker's chocolate. And this is so uh, you can you can shave this off. You can put it in your recipes or what have you. I think it's very economical because baking supplies are very high. And you can also get from Baker's Corner unsweetened baking, cocoa, great for baking and for dusting on various, uh, you know, desserts. We are also, when we have our uh, cookie swap exchange, we're also doing cupcakes okay so that will be part of it uh, here are the cupcake liners I am using they're from Reynolds it's 36 in them I got these um, for real cheap at Dollar Tree they were like 50 cent after the holiday um, and some of the other things that I would you will probably need as uh, far as tools, cookie scoop. Purchase this at Big Lot. It's a it's a good one. Um, at Didi's, I got this by Wilton's. It's a cupcake insert separator, so you can fill the middle of cupcakes with something great, like fruits or what have you, or nuts. You can put whatever you want in them. So I like to do gourmet type cupcakes. If you know me, I love cupcakes. I'm a cupcake person. Um, another thing you also need is I got this from Dollar Tree. It is the nine piece cupcake decorator set. And I thought that was awesome. For a dollar, you should get at least a couple of them. I made the mistake of not getting more, but I do have um, cupcake uh, decorator sets such as that. Okay. And also things you want to get, I didn't include them here, but I do have them. Uh, cookie cutters. Uh, they have them in the red and the green. Uh, or you can get them in stainless steel. Those are good to have to make the fun shapes. So don't forget those. Um, you know, you have your mixing bowls. That's just common standard fare. Um, and so, to show you, where am I going with this? Um, 
some of the things I use while baking. And it's just to make it fun. I have this um, little hot chocolate with the gingerbread man pot holders. And I got a couple of oven mitts to take them out. And of course, I purchased the towels. So everybody have their towels for their little hands. And for a decorative background, this sign that says, Have a cup of cheer with the gingerbread man and the hot cocoa. And um, I stand those up on the counter. And I simply use these little display easels that you get from Dollar Tree. Okay. Um... The little gifts that I give out, I also give out little favors. And everybody gets a favor. Yeah, regardless of the fact that they're getting the gift. I chose this, wishing you a cozy holiday. I think these are really cute. And just to show you, if you hadn't seen this, because I hauled this before, I simply got this from them because I like the way it opened up. Okay. Alrighty, and got to get some of this out of the way, if you can be patient. Another thing that um, you have to plan on when you're planning your little cookie exchange swap is how they're going to take the items home, how they're going to pack and package them. I have these little buckets. I bought enough for everyone that can have this little bucket. And of course, if you notice, it has that little gingerbread man and the hot cocoa cups. And that's what I liked about Dollar Tree. They had everything you needed. You know, it saved money on me ordering stuff, you know, special. And I bought a ton of these treat and loot bags just to show you what they are. I got the ones, the 15 counts with the same hot uh, cocoa cups and gingerbread men. I got two of those. And I got these loot bags. They're 30 count. And they zip. I got two of those. And these treat bags. That are bigger with a gingerbread man in it. I got two of those. And they're 20 count. Okay. So they have something to put their little treats in. It was cheaper than getting the paper bags that you order online. And, of course, they have their little buckets, you know. So, it's plenty of things for them to carry their little treats in. And they can make something for mommy or daddy or whoever, their sister, brother, friends. And um, the little boxes that I use... To keep and display stuff Ooh, are these right here and they come in three sizes and I have all three sizes and it is simply with the little gingerbread girl in the glittery hot cocoa cup and it says Merry Christmas I thought that was a cute little touch Dollar Tree does it for me. I'm telling you, they be on point. I don't care what you say. Dollar Tree is the bomb. Okay, um, next. Little, these are candy label tags, but I got them. They were a dollar at Dollar General. They could put this on their little trees. They were 25 cents because I bought them after Christmas. So they may not match, but it's something, you know, um, you got to save money while you can. Okay. And that's what I'm using for the kiddos. And um, the adults is pretty much similar. I'm going to do another video on how I do theirs. Because pretty much everything is the same. The only thing that's going to change is it's going to be a tea because the girls meet once a month for tea so I'm going to do mine in the form of a tea party 
with a cookie exchange. All right, folks, that's it. That's all for my little haul. Thank you so much for viewing. Thank you for the time that you share with me. Thank you for the many blessings that you have just bestowed on me. Thank you so much. You're so awesome. I love each and one of every one of you all to death. Okay, till the next time. This is the loquacious one. Bye bye. Oh, yeah, that's it. Bye.